All right, so these are the old MPC pads that we're gonna replace. If you look at the back, there's a bunch of soldered pieces. So like each pad is their own thing and that ends up being a problem. The cool thing about uh, the pad upgrade is that if you're looking at this, the pad upgrade looks almost the same, except it's a sensor sheet on like a metal chassis and it's already put together for you. The connections are exactly the same. So if you wanna do this and swap out uh, your pads, it's super easy you only really need a screwdriver i used a pair of tweezers as well but nothing really crazy okay there's a couple screws you need to take out and we'll we'll go through what you need to to remove to get the casing off you don't need to take off the sides just the front panel and a few screws out of the back and then the top should lift off so you're gonna take out the front near the compact flash. You're gonna take that screw out. There will be two screws under that. Once you take that front screw out of the front panel, just the one, it's gonna look different than the other screws. It's a little bit flatter, but that piece should just pop right off. Um, it kind of hooks in on the left-hand side, but if you give it a good pull, it'll come right off. There's nothing else to it. On the back panel, you're going to take off the top three screws, the ones that uh, look like they're holding the top of the case on. When you flip it over, if you're looking at the bottom of the unit, but the front end, there's four screws. There's five total on that bottom side of the front, but you only need to take the first four off. Finally on the back, you're going to want to take off the three screws on the top of the back panel. Uh, that'll allow you to lift the top off. So if you're looking at those three screws, lift from the back and it should just pop right off. All right, so let's look at some internals. Basically, I already did the pad upgrade, but it's real easy to show you how to do this. On the four corners of the pads, I'll put arrows in here. Basically there's four screws that need to come out and that should be like the first thing you need to do before you can pull the old pad sensors out. Now once you unscrew these four screws, it's gonna take a little bit of maneuvering to actually pull the old uh, pad sensors out, but we're only really concerned with two cables. Um, there's two things that need to be disconnected. One is a little white plug into the board right on the left hand side of the pads and the other is on the actual back of the pad sensor. Alright so now that the screws are out it's going to take a little uh, shimmying to get this to pull out because it's connected in two places but basically it pulls out like that and then there will be two um, kind of data power cables connecting that back to the main board. So looking from the back of the pad sensor, that cable, that white cable right there, it pulls out, it, it might take a little more pressure than you think is necessary, but it pulls out from the back. And then the second power data cable we're worried about is this white one right here. Again, we'll take a little shimmying, but it will come out. Once you get those two out, you'll be able to pull the whole pad sensor board out. So looking at a close-up of the back, that's actually where that plugs uh, that plug can be pulled out of. And it attaches to the new sensor board pretty much the same exact way. So it's, it's the only plug that'll fit there. So don't really stress it too much. Once you put those two cables in on the new pad board or pad sensor board or whatever you want to call it. Basically all you got to do is retrace your steps back. So you're going to have to move this thing in, kind of tuck the wires. Uh, it, it's a little finicky. Get it back in there. Um, screw it back in, make sure everything's like fit in there correctly. 
So basically, follow the video in reverse. A um, couple things I would recommend if you're gonna do one of these tear down part replacement type things is get yourself like a couple little jars to keep different size screws in. For this particular like swap, I think there's only two different size screws. Um, one of them goes right in the front next to the card reader. That's the only flathead screw. The rest are all I guess you standard MPC 1000 screws so um, it's good to keep organized and to kind of take it slow if you're new to taking stuff like this apart. Um, also want to thank everybody who's been checking out our videos. Um, we're going to continue to do more. Uh, I've got a couple other drum machine videos coming up on some, I guess, well, not really rare. Yeah, you can't really consider the SP404 rare, but we've got a couple Yamahas in there and a few other things. So, thanks for checking it out.